This morning, the former FBI informant accused of making false bribery claims about President Biden and his son Hunter has been released on bond. Alexander Smirnoff is seen here in the blue hoodie, leaving court in Las Vegas yesterday. A judge released him under the conditions that he restrict his travel, hand over his passport, and wear an ankle monitor. Smirnoff is charged with lying to the FBI, claiming the Bidens accepted millions in bribes from Burisma, a Ukrainian energy firm. Federal prosecutors say Smirnoff has now admitted that officials affiliated with Russian intelligence were involved in passing along that story, which prosecutors say was fabricated. House Republicans have used Smirnoff's bribery allegation as a justification for their long shot effort to impeach President Biden. But if he volunteered himself, if he came to them and said, I can help you with this, that's another hallmark of Russian operations where they'll pick somebody and say, hey, go to the FBI or go to this organization, tell them that you have information, then we've got them on the hook. So, yeah, this is all very, very consistent with how the Russian intelligence services do business. Meanwhile, this morning, the Biden administration says it's aware of a Los Angeles woman now being detained in Russia. Russian authorities arrested Ksenia Karolina, a Russian-American ballerina, on suspicion of treason after she donated about $50 to support Ukraine. <laughs> Russian state media appeared to show Karolina being led into court. She could face 20 years in prison. Her former mother-in-law says Karolina was visiting Russia to see family. If we don't help her, we can say goodbye to her. If we do not protect her as an American citizen, nobody else will. It comes as President Biden promises to impose new financial penalties on Russia for the death of Putin critic Alexei Navalny. The sanctions are expected to target Kremlin defense industries and other revenue sources. We'll have a major package announced on Friday. Navalny died in prison Friday. His family claims he was murdered and accuses the Kremlin of covering it up, refusing to release his body. He was a friend and a person who really invested a lot of hope and Passion. Navalny's friend is now sharing letters the two recently exchanged. He says Navalny wrote from prison about the conditions he faced, his concern about U.S. politics, and his love of traveling. We talked about his favorite parts of London or uh, like some different street food in different cities, uh, some movies or whatever. And back to that FBI informant Alexander Smirnoff. He was released on bond yesterday. No words yet on his court date. <laughs> Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.